praying for the dying. The past does not belong to me. The future is not mine. With all my soul, I try to make use of the present moment. Now, rest your head on my bosom, on my heart, and draw from it strength and power for this sufferings because you'll because you you will find neither relief nor help nor comfort anywhere else. Comfort the sick. That's part of a series on the cor cor corporal deeds of mercy or the acts uh, of mercy. Jesus said to Saint Faustina, I demand from you deeds of mercy which are to arise out of love for me. You are to show mercy to your neighbors always and everywhere. You must not shrink from this or try to excuse or absolve yourself from it. Diario Saint Faustina, section 742. Praying for the dying. One day, Saint Faustina was working in the garden with the girls. This part is from the book of the good of the, the God of Mercy. Mercy's Mercy is Love's Second Chance by Father Balashadri Adub Milam. As I was saying, one day Saint Faustina was working in the garden with the girls, and suddenly her guardian angel said, Pray for the dying. She started the rosary with the girls and heard a voice, Pray for me. Pray for me until I tell you to stop. I am dying. The voice of a sister in Warsaw. Sister Faustina prayed from 3 p.m. until 5 p.m. 3 p.m. is the hour of mercy. But this passed the hour of mercy until 5 p.m. When she heard the same voice again, thank you. The next day, a postcard arrived from, Wars from Warsaw with the news that Sister Philomena Andrejok, Andrejoko had died the day before at 4.45 p.m. For them, she sometimes found herself transported in the spirit to their bedside. When we know it's the right, when we know it's the gift of by location. She referred to it as accompanying a dying soul. She was reassigned as a gatekeeper on September 16th. She endured terrible abdominal pains for three hours from 8 to 11 p.m. At first, she did not know what it was. Then she remembered that the same pains had come, had come to her once in the sanitarium. She told Dr. Silberg that she had never endured such horrible pains. She later wrote that no medicine had e effect on, and the pain even caused her to lose consciousness. Sister Faustina then realized that she was suffering the three-hour agony of Jesus endured. She was suffering in reparations for mothers who had aborted their unborn babies. These three hours, this three-hour Calvary experience had afflicted her twice. Wow, twice. Before, during the same hours, at 11 p.m., the pain suddenly stopped and she fell asleep immediately, only to awaken very weak the next morning. One day after midnight, Sister Faustina pulled her shawl tightly around her. She was leaving the chapel to the dormitory building out of the bushes and dark shadows suddenly sprang up pack of huge black dogs. 
The dogs were jumping and snapping at her. She froze and stood still. She found they were not really dogs. She was told, because you have snatched so many souls away from us this night, we will tear your tear, tear you to pieces. She said boldly, if that is the will of the most merciful God, tear me to pieces, for I have justly served it. I, so I, so for I, I have justly deserved it because I am the most miserable of all sinners, and God is ever holy, just and infinitely merciful. Sister Faustina always wanted to be a saint in the sense to love Jesus with a love so great that there would be no soul who was, wow, who was loving him. who was loving God so much. And right now, as I'm talking about this, and I can picture in my mind those dogs, I myself was attacked by a pit bull And it was a physical pit bull that almost that wanted to get my heart out. And for many months, I had a lot of bruises all over my body. And it's been four years since that incident, and I still suffer from, from that, even though God has provided me with physical, occupational, vestibular therapies. But my main therapy is prayer. Prayer and going to the Blessed Chapel. And in the process, I have, I have been by the bedside of a dear friend who passed. Almost, it's going to be already a year about nine months and I've seen how how God wants us to pray the Divine Mercy Chaplet and I also saw my aunt during these four years I only met my aunt one time in my life when I was a little girl in Mexico City but through the mercy of God and technology I was able to to be there praying for her in her last hours of death. And she was, she died on December 12th, true believer of Our Lady of Guadalupe. And I also was, luckily, able to help my uncle Ramon, they lived in Arizona and I, li I live in California, but through technology, I was able to be with my cousins. <laughs> and I also experience, I also experience how when you help someone, in the last hours and you pray with your whole heart with your whole with your whole heart you also experience how tired you feel afterwards but the peace and the love and the joy that you gain cannot compare to how how you are left after helping someone in their last hours We need to pray for the dying on a daily basis. We need to pray for the sick, for the sick and the dying every single day and for the poor souls in purgatory. In the description box, I will leave a link of prayers for the sick and the dying. 
for the souls in purgatory. You know, we were born one day and one day we're going to die. In this life, it's just, a, it's just like a little speck compared to how eternity will be. Where do you want to end up? As for me, I want to end up in heaven. I still have a long ways. But God is merciful. And my goal since I was a little girl has been to go to heaven. To go to heaven, just like how Sister Faustina, her goal was to be a saint since, since she was a little girl. So whenever you see someone that is sick in your family, with your friends, go visit them. Go visit them because remember, remember that. Jesus said to St. Faustina, I demand from you deeds of mercy, which are to arise out of love for me. You are to show mercy to your neighbors always and everywhere. You must not shrink from this or try to excuse or absolve yourself from it. And that's in the Diary of St. Faustina, section 742. So, may the Lord bless you and those who you love. And in the next video, I will talk about attacks of the devil that are increased at the hour of death. And in other words, is the impeding death, increased attacks of the devil at the hour of death. May the Lord bless you and those who you love. Please pray for me and my family as I continue to pray for you.